Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. With this, we have ended our discussion on uh, the chromosomal theory of inheritance. So by now we know that the basis of genetics was, was given by Mendel when he gave the Mendelian rules of inheritance. After that, a lot of work was done by other scientists including Morgan and then they came up with the chromosomal basis of the theories of inheritance and that is where they came up with new concepts like linkage, they came up with the genetic maps and so many other useful stuffs. So now that we have got the basic idea of genetics, we will see another important topic where we will talk about how is the sex determined. In case of sexual reproduction, how do we know that the offspring that is going to be produced, whether it is going to be a male or it is going to be a female. So how do we determine the sex? So what inside those 46 chromosomes in case of human beings decides what will be the sex of that particular organism? So that is what we are going to talk about in sex determination. Now as far as sex determination was concerned in different organisms, a lot of research was done by many different scientists. So many of them worked on insects and then what they could find out was that uh, there was a scientist named Hen King. So Hen King studied the spermatogenesis in insects that is the process by which sperms were formed. So there he could see that only 50% of the sperms received a special structure and that structure was missed in the remaining 50% of the sperms. Now at that time Henkin uh, was not much aware about the th uh, number and type of chromosomes present in an organism. So he named those special structure as X body and this X body is what we now know as X chromosomes. So that time it was seen that only for the sperms. Some of the sperms had the X body, some of them did not have it. Now wherever the X body was present, the sperm used to fuse with the egg to form one sex. Where it was not present, it used to, it, it resulted in the formation of the opposite sex. So it was due to the presence or absence of this X body, it was found that the sex of the offspring was getting affected. Now later with the development and with more discoveries it was found that the chromosomes which are present inside the cell of any living organism the number total number of chromosomes is always fixed. Now when we talk about the total number of chromosomes a good amount of them are autosomes that is these are those chromosomes which form the different cells of the body so the somatic cells of the body or the somatic traits are governed by the autosomes. And the last pair of chromosome is the sex chromosome. So this sex chromosome actually decides the sex of that organism. Now the sex chromosomes are different in males and females and they decide the sex of an individual. So now we will spend some time understanding about the sex chromosome in little more detail. So when this much of, when all this research was being done on sex determination, uh, it was done on insects, birds as well as human beings and later they come, came up with a, a concrete solution or a concrete structure of sex determination. So what did they say? So they said that there are two mechanisms of sex determination. One is called male heterogamity, the other one is called the female heterogamity. So let us first talk about male heterogamity. What is the meaning of male heterogamity? Hetero means different. Gamity is derived from the word gametes. So males have different gametes. So in certain organisms, the male will have different gametes as far as the sex chromosomes are concerned. So the sex chromosomes will be different. So male heterogamity means the male sex of the species have two different sex chromosomes. So just now I was telling right, one pair of sex chromosome is present in all the organisms and these sex chromosomes decide whether the organism or the individual will be a male or a female. Now these sex chromosomes, now it is one pair of chromosome right. Now one possibility is both the pairs can be equal or identical, similar. The other possibility is they are completely different. Now if they are completely different, it is they are said to be heterogamity. That means the males have different sex chromosomes. 
Now it is seen in different animals like uh, mammals, like human beings. It is seen in insects like Drosophila, grasshopper, and most of the invertebrates show male heterogamity. So in these organisms, only the male sex of the species have two different sex chromosomes, but the female sex of the species have two similar sex chromosomes. So let us why to talk about others. Let us just talk about human beings. So let us talk about human beings. In human beings also, if you talk about the males, they have sex chromosomes X and Y. So X and Y, they are different from each other. So that is how they have. So the males show male heterogamity. But the females, they have sex chromosomes XX. That is, both of them are identical. So females do not show heterogamity, but males show heterogamity. Right? So this type of male heterogamity is known as XY type. So based on what type of male heterogamity is seen in different organisms, these are broadly classified into two types. One is XY type, the, the type which is seen in human beings. The other is the XO type. So this is another type which is generally seen in insects. So let us discuss about XY type and XO type in little more detail. So first we will talk about the XY type. As I said, in XY type, the males will have X and Y chromosome which are different from each other. The Y chromosome is quite smaller in size than the X chromosome. So now you will be able to understand. When I was talking about the sex linked inheritance, I said that for certain gene, for certain traits, the genes are present on the X chromosome only. And for that particular trait, you do not have a corresponding allele on the Y chromosome. That is because the structure of the Y chromosome and X chromosome are different from each other. So you cannot expect to have the same sequence of genes on the X and the Y chromosomes. And that is why it came, comes up the crisscross inheritance. Okay. So here, the same number of chromosomes is present in males and females. It is just that instead of this X, they have Y. But the total number of chromosomes will remain the same. For example, in case of human beings, they have 46 chromosomes, out of which 44 are autosomes and the last two chromosomes are the sex chromosomes. So this number will remain the same in case of both males and females. It is just that females will have both sex chromosomes as X, Males will have one X and one Y. The other type of uh, male heterogamity. So here you can see in case of human beings, the female will have both X chromosomes which are identical and males will have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome which is smaller than the X chromosome. So let us look at the next type that is the XO type. What is this? Here the females will have XX that is again similar but the males will have XO. What does this O mean? It basically means that males have just one chromosome in sex chromosomes. Now instead of having two chromosomes they just have one. So how to denote the other blank place? So that is denoted by O. So O represents that there is no chromosome at all. In this position. So males just have one chromosome. Now as a result of this the total number of chromosomes in males is lesser than that of females. So if females have for example let us suppose if females have say 10 chromosomes I mean total 10 chromosomes then males will have 9 chromosomes. So the number of chromosomes in case of males will always be one lesser than that of the females. And here we denote it as XO and that is why this type of male heterogamity is known as XO type and it is seen in insects like grasshopper. So these are the two types of male heterogamity which is seen. Now what happens in these type of heterogamity? If you talk about the XY type, in this case what happens? A female and a male, they both undergo sexual reproduction, that is crossing happens. So what kind of gamete can the female give? The female can give only one type of gamete and that is X. What are the types of gametes that this can give? This can either give X or it can give Y. So when, when you talk about the offsprings, now the offsprings can either combine with the X it can, or it can combine with the Y. So if the X of the female combines with the X of the male, then it will form a female. So a girl child will be born. If the X of the female combines with the Y of the male, then XY will be formed and a male child will be formed. So this is how it decides whether the offspring is going to be a male or a female. Similarly, in case of XO, 
as I said, so this is, let us suppose for the females, XX you have in case of grasshopper and for the males you just have X. So the blank is represented by a O. So in this case what happens if XX and XO, they undergo reproduction. So this can give only X and what is the possibility that this can give? This can either give X or it will not give anything. So one possibility is this will combine with this and it will form XX that is a female will be formed. The other possibility is the X will combine with this blank thing. So what will be formed? The XO will be formed which will be a male. So this is how sex determination happens in different organisms. Now it is not only male heterogamity which is present in all the organisms but female heterogamity is also seen in some organisms. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.